Greetings everyone, welcome to another song sung imperfectly. Now recently Laura Rob requested that I sing more songs from Cats, and I promise I will eventually, but today I'm returning to a different Lloyd Webber musical, Jesus Christ Superstar. So today's song is Pilot's Dream by Andrew Lloyd Webber and Tim Rice. Uh, now there are a few reasons why I like this song. Um, it's not one of the most famous songs in the musical, but I think it's just as good as most of the others. Um, as some of you know, I like uh, trying to hold long notes and I've been getting better at it, and uh, this song has a lot of them. Um, also, the way the show is laid out, it makes a nice, short, peaceful interlude between two chaotic scenes. Uh, and it's also one of the ways in which Pontius Pilate is represented as a um, a character the audience can empathise with and even feel sorry for, because it's made clear that he didn't want Jesus to be con condemned. Um, and finally, with the way it's, um, it's adapted from the Bible, uh, in Matthew's Gospel, it's briefly mentioned that Pilate's wife had a dream about Jesus that troubled her. Um, so she advised Pilate not to have anything to do with Jesus, but it's not made clear what exactly was in that dream. Uh, so in the musical, it's Pilate himself who has the dream, and he tells us about it. Um, so I, I just find that... Um, uh, more satisfying, to be honest. Uh, so here we go, Pilot's Dream. <clears throat> I dreamed I met a Galilean A most amazing man He had that look you very rarely find the haunting hunted kind. <clears throat> I asked him to say what had happened, how it all began. I asked again, never said a word, as if he hadn't heard. <coughs> and next, the room was full of wild and angry men. They seemed to hate this man. They fell on him and then they disappeared again. Then I saw Thousands of millions crying for this man. And then I heard them mentioning my name. And leaving me the place. Thank you very much.